want to open up with uh, congratulations to Jacksonville State, uh, Coach Harper, his team, and his staff. Uh, they played extremely well tonight. Uh, and I was expecting them to. They did do that. And uh, just want to congratulate them first and foremost. I uh, also want to congratulate my team, uh, especially my seniors. And uh, we uh, ran out of time tonight. I won't even say we lost. We just ran out of time. But uh... questions? How would you describe Whitney's performance, especially in the first half? Uh, good as it gets, Jeff. Good as it gets. Uh, I didn't even realize. I thought I was looking at something wrong. I didn't even realize he had 29 at the half. I was like, wow. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm surprised. He's as talented as, of a player as I've had. So uh, he's got all the ability in the world, yet uh, he still has some untapped things in him that uh, we're trying to get out. And, I'm just glad he's coming back for another year. You guys gave up the lead and then climbed back and it was 70 70, and then they just went on that. What, what happened? They hit some unforced turnovers. It just, you just couldn't get over the hump. We did, and, and to be honest, Jeff, I believe fatigue hit us a little bit. This was the first time in a while where foul trouble affected us a bit, I think. We only dress eight. And so we had to put in some different combinations of lineups that we customarily don't play with uh, to adjust to the whistle tonight. And so uh, I think we had a little bit of fatigue when it got tied down there towards the stress, unforced errors, bad pass, couple bad passes, uh, turnover um, off a bad dribble, and some uh, missed assignments down on the defensive end. Can't do that against uh, a good team like that if you expect to win. Um, I just had a high hand. I, I just want to thank my teammates for the um, opportunity and them giving me the ball. You know, they seen me have a um, high hand and I was rolling. And if it wasn't for them, I mean, I wouldn't have the 29 points that I had. Mm -hmm. you kind of led, led this team down the stretch to get into the tournament after starting out, you know, with a rough stretch. You guys played up really well and you really took on that leadership role down the stretch to get into the tournament let alone win last night. Uh, how, how big and how important was that to finish your senior year? Uh, it was very big for us. For um, all we've um, been through as a team, as everybody know that. Um, that was the only thing on our mind to get into the tournament. And we just felt like we came up short from this game. But uh, I'm, proud. I'm proud of the team, coaching staff. Um, hopefully next year it will be a, a different ending. It, it, it felt good. It felt good. I knew we, what this team was capable capable of. Uh, we did get off to a slow start. We had a series of unfortunate events. Um, lost some staff members. Uh, lost some players. Uh, but I just knew if we kind of came together instead of go, you know grow apart. Uh, we could make some noise. Yet, uh, I, I'm, I'm not surprised we made it to the quarterfinals. Um, I thought we had the potential and the makings of a good team. Uh, it just took us a little while to find our way, uh, kind of glue the pieces together. But uh, I'm not going to be satisfied with this. This is a learning experience for the guys that are going to return. Anytime you can get postseason minutes, minutes played, that's huge for growth. And there's a lot of potential in the guys that are returning. 